13 inch MacBook Air Model A 1369 microphone replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws and a center up top are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. The battery is connected with five screws, one in each corner and one in the center. Start with the one in the top right, then the bottom right corner, bottom left, top left, and then the center screw. We can now lift the battery up and out of the way. Let's go ahead and remove the T5 screw that's securing the right speaker. Let's unplug the uh, microphone connection from the input output board by gently prying underneath it and popping it up. Now let's go ahead and unplug the speaker by gently prying in underneath its connection and pushing up. Trace out the cable. Now we're going to have to pry the rest of the speaker out because it's partially glued onto the unit. You can use something like a hairdryer to warm it up and loosen up the glue, but just force and uh, careful movement uh, should be able to remove that, no problem. Okay, so the microphone is kind of hidden here behind the speaker. That was the first thing we unplugged there. So go ahead and pry in underneath it. It's kind of glued to the side of the uh, Mac. And it just comes out just like that. Just simple prying. Reassembly. When putting it back, make sure to either use double-sided uh, tape or some kind of glue on the side of it and place it right back where it goes. You can see there's little dots there so that the uh, sound can travel through. And Once you place it and it's holding steady there, go ahead and plug it back to the uh, input-output board. Put the right speaker back into its socket. Make sure it's nice and firm and steady and then reconnect it to the logic board as well. Reinstalling the battery simple, just align it into its socket. You'll have three longer screws. Go ahead and do the center first. Now go ahead and secure the top right and the top left with the long screws. And then the shorter little screws go in the bottom. Bottom right corner, and bottom left. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first and then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.